Going clockwise, we start out with Mexico. Much like the land, this is your stop on a rainy day because Mexico is located inside a giant pyramid. After passing by some art displays, you find yourself in a town square at nighttime. As always, the atmospheric Disney magic is in full effect here, and despite its small size, the village feels fully alive. In the back is the Grand Fiesta Ride, featuring the cast of the Three Caballeros. Even though Jose Carioca is Brazilian, but hey. This is a boat ride that starts off taking you past the dining area for the fancy restaurant, which is good because it's not like Orlando's version of Pirates of the Caribbean had the decency to do that. And the ride continues to trigger your pirate-related nostalgia by taking you past the Blood Island Volcano. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god! Although I guess if I'm gonna make a LucasArts reference here, it probably should be Grim Fandango. The ride follows Jose and Panchito as they try and locate Donald for the big Three Caballeros reunion concert. It's a simple plot, but it makes me realize how awesome a Blues Brothers ride would be. They broke my watch! Anyway, the animatronics here are sub It's a Small World level, with most of the action taking place on video screens, mixing the cartoon characters with live action footage. And also like It's a Small World, you will never get the song out of your head. But there are some amusing visual gags, and if you have any nostalgia at all for the Three Caballeros movie, you're almost guaranteed to get at least some enjoyment from the ride. And hey, at least we're not trying to chase this guy. 